We're going to cut this watermelon. Oh, God. <laughs> it seemed like a great idea at the time. I'll just use my sword. Just get one good chop. Seriously, it'll be fine. Hi, my name is Ali, and I am the scourge of patio furniture everywhere. I would call myself in general a kind of a low-key weapons guy. I don't own too many of these things. You don't want to be all mall ninja about it. I mean, there's a lot of genius there. A couple years beforehand, buddy of mine's birthday party, you know, they brought out this uh, very elaborate birthday cake that his wife had made. People were a little pensive about cutting it because it was so well done, and they, they were kind of worried about, you know, messing it up, and I was like, Oh, just give me the knife, I'll do. So they gave me this, you know, standard kitchen butcher knife and I'm trying to cut it and sure enough, the knife breaks out of the handle. And I'm just sitting there going, you know, I could have brought my sword for this. That day I decided I was going to build a planter for my wife. I got my buddy Mike and we went and grabbed some pallets and broke them down to build up, build up the planter. 30 degrees Celsius. Not a cloud in the sky. We did not hydrate properly. So I was getting like the early stages of heat stroke. My wife and you know his wife come back and you know they brought out the watermelon and like, yeah, we just need to cut them. Sure enough, I had that flashback. Today is the day. This'll totally work. Well, I have a great idea for that. I'll just use my sword and just get a one good one good chop. Seriously, it'll be fine. My wife wasn't so sure. Uh, my friends were a little, uh, maybe 50% on it, though they had to admit they wanted to see it too. It didn't take too much convincing for all parties involved. I go, I go in, I bring out the sword, and sure enough, there's a little bit of shock, maybe a little bit of awe, a little bit of surprise, like they didn't quite realize the size of it. We, we went, grabbed the watermelon, grabbed the cutting board, because I was just thinking, no, oh, yeah, just to make sure we don't like, I don't mark up the table, I'll just, you know, put a cutting board under it. It'll protect the table just fine. My wife, she's thinking to herself, this is, this can't be a good idea. And, you know, took a couple of, uh, you know, practice alignment swings and then one solid chop and then the table basically exploded. Like, like, my mind was quite blown at that particular moment. I uh, cut the watermelon and the table exploded. I was like, oh my god, that is so animated. The cutting board was uh, the cutting board was fine, though. Barely a scratch on it. There was a bit of shock, and, uh, you know, it took a second for everybody to process. And after the, the shock had, finally, had subsided just long enough, uh, my wife had exclaimed, Oh my god, my table! Sweet! <laughs> And I, I was still laughing hysterically at that point. And my buddy Mike was himself laughing hysterically at that point. And, and I was like, well, I, uh, I uh, guess we need new table. The, there's been some confusion over the video, in the video over the uh, last while, but sure enough, I did in fact cut it. You know, got the uh, glass bits out and we ate the watermelon. It's delicious, actually. It's a really good watermelon. The morning after all this, you know, we'd uploaded the uh, video to YouTube. I shared it a little bit to Reddit, because, you know, why not? Within a few short hours. The view count on it had exploded. I started getting like interview requests, even outside the country. Like I got interviewed by a news station in Japan. It was a very interesting two weeks. If I were to come across that situation again, I would not cut it on a glass table. Under better circumstances, I would totally still use that sword to cut through. Let us know which fail you want to see in a future episode of Tales of the Fail. Sound off in the comments and tell us which one is your favorite. For more Tales of the Fail, like and subscribe to Fail Army, or visit failarmy.com. Do you want to see more of the blade or less of the blade? Like, like, do you just want to see me holding it, or what are we doing here?